Slap Tech. So, you've got a Dell laptop and you want to upgrade the NVMe SSD in it. Here's a quick guide that'll show you how to do just that. First thing we'll need is a larger NVMe drive. Here's one. This is a 1TB Intel 665P, a full-sized M.2 SSD, size class 2280. It'll fit great in this Dell laptop, the Latitude 7420 that I recently reviewed in the top right corner. Since the new SSD doesn't come with Windows installed automatically, we'll need a 16GB USB thumb drive to throw a copy of Windows on. Yes, the thumb drive must be at least 16 gigs in size, and the data will have to be wiped on it. So use something you don't have any other purpose for, at least for the time being. It can still be reformatted and reused for whatever else later. Before starting the process, make sure your sensitive data and documents are backed up, because you're going to lose them if you don't. Put them on a second thumb drive, external hard drive, online storage, it doesn't matter. Just make sure they're somewhere else other than your soon-to-be old SSD. Once your data is backed up, go to Dell.com, support at the top, drivers and downloads. Type in the model number of the laptop. We'll put Latitude 7420 in this field for now, and then click search. Under Additional Resources, there's a link for Operating System Recovery. Click on and download the OS Recovery Tool. Make sure the thumb drive is connected so the program can see it. Find and launch the OS Recovery Tool. Select a PC you want to make a thumb drive for, most likely yours on the left, then click Next. Check the little box that says you're okay with the thumb drive being reformatted, then click Download. The recovery tool will take care of the rest, and it'll take a hot minute to do it. Make sure your internet connection is stable. If it breaks at any point of the process, redo it. If the connection was broken at any point, it'll give a false positive that the thumb drive is ready, but the Windows installation will fail. So make sure your internet connection is stable. Once it's done and your data is backed up, remove the thumb drive and turn the laptop off. It's time to install the new SSD. The screws in the Latitude 7420 are captive and don't come out. If you're watching this tutorial for a laptop with removable screws, throw it away and get a Latitude 7420. Once the screws are undone, a prying tool wouldn't be a bad investment. Begin the prying process by the hinges at the back of the laptop, then work your way around to the front. Once the cover is removed, look for the SSD. It's a long, slender thingamajig about this shape, perhaps with this very same label on it. Once you've found it, disconnect the battery. I didn't show disconnecting the battery because I didn't disconnect the battery. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Disconnect the battery, then hold the power button down for 8 seconds because reasons. This SSD thermal cover is held down by two screws. Do note that not all Phillips head screwdrivers will fit them. With the two screws removed, the thermal cover can come off and reveal the SSD and its adapter plate. The adapter plate lifts off with a little bit of grunt, but careful, it's fragile and can be easily bent. With that removed, the SSD slides right out. Line up the pins with the new SSD and slot it in. Then replace the thermal cover, reconnect the battery, and replace the bottom cover. With the battery connected and cover on, plug in the thumb drive, connect the AC adapter, and turn on the laptop. It will boot to the thumb drive automatically. On this screen, select Reset in the bottom right. Then click Next under the box about the optional data transfer. On the next screen, it talks about transferring your data, but since it's a fresh storage drive, you don't have any data to transfer. So select Do Not Transfer, and then click Next. The process takes care of itself from here on out. After booting to Windows, install updates, copy your backed up data files that you saved elsewhere, replace all the things, do what you gotta do, and walla walla, you have yourself an upgraded NVMe SSD in your Dell laptop. This has been a tutorial about how to upgrade the NVMe SSD in a Dell laptop. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful or just plain entertaining. If there's an important detail I missed, let everyone know how you feel about it in the comments below. In any case, thanks for watching and you guys... Have a good night.